Hello everybody and welcome to my 21st Excel 2013 tutorial uh, and those of you that have been waiting for this tutorial I'm really sorry for how long it's taken to come out um, it's been what well, it was it was in July last year so it's been almost 10 months since I sit between the episode 20 episode 21 uh, I've moved house since then I've moved in with my partner uh, who I've been with for for a long 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 time um, and it was about time we lived together. She'd been off at uni for quite a while. Um, so now we're living together uh, and uh, my job changed as well. I got a new job uh, or a new position in an existing job, um, which has taken up a lot more of my time. Uh, I haven't been able to have a day off a week anymore, um, which is something hopefully I'll be able to go back to in the future. Uh, but at the moment, I just I can't afford to to do to do it I can't uh, I need I need the job obviously to, to keep me living um, this doesn't anywhere near cover uh, living costs this YouTube channel um, so yeah uh, appreciate everyone's support in the time being uh, I have been dropping out a few videos but none of the proper series so uh, I've got this week off work so I'm gonna try and catch up and, and put quite a few videos out so um, yeah, that will be why there's been such a long time, uh, and also why there's such a big difference in sound quality. Uh, the, I've now got a little recording studio in the new place that we bought. Um, it's very small, it's just a little room, and I've soundproofed the walls and uh, stuff like that, so it should be sounding a lot better than the last tutorial, so hopefully that helps you out. Anyway, this one is on subtotals. Sorry to go off on a bit of spiel there. Um, so subtotals is, uh, like in the last one where we were doing grouping, uh, it's very similar, but it kind of just does everything for you automatically. So if we highlight our data here uh, and you need to make sure it's not formatted as a table because subtotals won't like that uh, and once you've highlighted your table just go into data uh, and then click on subtotal now it's going to create little totals in there for you similar to how the grouping does um, and it's going to be based on here so we want to do for each of our customers so we're using the customer ID as our change uh, and then we want to add up the, the value and the quantity and things like that uh, so uh, we're going to have sum uh, and then we're going to put it on item value and sale quantity and this is going to add us a little subtotal underneath each of those uh, and press OK uh, and then you see it's automatically going to drop these totals in it's going to put the groupings on uh, so that we can hide them down if we want to uh, and it's going to give us little subtotals in here um, so that is just a very 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 quick uh, and easy way of adding subtotals in now you can um, you can switch around what you've got so you could change it to average uh, and then that will put an average in there um, and if you untick this uh, and say we put in a sum uh, then it's going to put in the total and the averages like that um, it's not the best, uh, I prefer using pivot tables personally, which I'll come on to in a future tutorial. Uh, I don't use this very often, uh, but it is useful if you just want a quick and quick and dirty analysis of some data. Uh, so uh, this this will be available for download in a link in the description, and if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below, uh, and I'll either answer them straight away, or I'll put them in one of my Q&A videos. Uh, and if you like these videos, then please uh, like and subscribe. Um, uh, it, it helps me out a lot if you leave a rating so uh, hopefully that will lead to me being able to produce more videos again uh, but I uh, thanks for watching and I hope to catch you soon